custody by the police, and they leave from there, at the same time an ocean storm erupts unexpectedly, tunnels are started being demolished, and everyone is talking about what's going on, meanwhile a group of scientists, who are all worried now that they've thought about it, what is the cause of this raging storm? Is it a natural disaster? But no one seems to notice. And the cops decide to look into it, following the devastation, people began to chaos, as a result, the cops intervene, however, the tunnels continue to burn, there were also other folks who were having fun while filming and sharing the event on social media. They were not afraid of this storm, however, the Japanese government has recognized that there is undoubtedly a major issue. Some cabinet secretariats believe that there are no living creatures in the sea, they also know that the ocean temperature is more than 10 degrees Celsius, the remainder of the people reply, who knows, that living creature may cause this temperature to rise, a gathering of leaders and scientists is currently taking place. The news is then carried on television, they come across a massive tail, it means they notice a massive tail emerging from the sea, it is, after all, a giant living creature's tail, everyone is taken aback, it might be a new species, according to everyone, they now claim that they will make their decision by a vote, either it must be killed or it must be imprisoned, and they eventually conclude to kill it, that monster now started to go somewhere. The creature then creeps to the bridge, smashing ships and boats as it crosses the sea, and it creeps forward, damaging the bridge in the process, many people are harmed as a result of this, the prime minister is informed by a scientist, this beast is going to cause a lot of havoc, it has to be dispatched as soon as possible, another man, on the other hand, informs a man named Yaguchi that he has a friend named Hiromi, she has a grade of knowledge in this area, she might be of use to us. When she gets there, she takes a look at some of the creature's images and movies. She informs others that this monster is likewise capable of walking. It has feet, after all, it arrives to the island quickly, no one, however, believes in her, shaking its tail, that monster makes its way from the sea to the land, fins were its only arms, it appeared as if it had fins at its neck, which can be found on large fish, it was enormous, even that creature's foot was crushed where it used to stand. All adjacent laying items flew into the air as the homes began to tremble, people have begun to be increasingly fearful, with its head, that beast was slamming against everything, as a result, the buildings and automobiles have began to deteriorate, roads were also crumbling, and it was demolishing people's homes as it approached, it travels at a speed of 13 kilometers per hour, soon, the troops will arrive, and they start rescuing the residents at that location, the administration has now decided that it must be eliminated as quickly as possible, as a result, it sent a large number of military helicopters to the area right once, those helicopters are almost ready to launch missiles towards Godzilla. However, they come to a halt when they notice that there are some people in the area, they must also retreat, Shin Godzilla was the moniker given to this Godzilla, it was Japanese, and it was unlike any previous Godzilla, it was also more dangerous in terms of devastation, then Yaguchi assembles a group, there were more dedicated and talented members of the team, some of the people have extracted pulp, according to one of the talented boys, it has been extensively researched, its samples were sent to the United States. Another man among them inquires, what will be eaten? Where does it get its energy from? Hiromi begins to think about it, and she wonders why the ocean temperature reached 100 degrees on that particular day, how did it grow so quickly? Godzilla's energy comes from either radioactive contamination or nuclear radiation, which is self-evident, one man tells Yaguchi that we'll have to look for him in the belongings we found in the boat that day, he went swimming in the sea who knows if he is looking into it? Everyone is in agreement, because the notes found in the boat contain some information about this creature, however, no one had previously been aware of this, all of a sudden, everyone realized what it was, that man's research shows that he had finished his work. He now hoped that the remaining research would be carried out by government scientists, he also stated that Godzilla resides in the sea, it also consumes the creatures in the water that emit radioactive rays, and its survival is dependent on them, it is insufficient. As it approaches the ground, its body swells, it also expands from its original size. According to Yaguchi, Godzilla will be deployed to the United States, as a result, current experiments may be carried out on it, no one knows, however, when or how they will take place, they needed to figure out a way to prevent Godzilla from entering the area, they also learned that Godzilla's body temperature may change at any time, as a result, he returns to the property on a regular basis. On the other hand, several people were observed opposing the idea of confronting Godzilla, because they believed Godzilla was a divinely sent beast, alternatively, they had adopted it as their deity, and they had no idea how much devastation it would cause, it quickly completes them, it was going to be a more devastating day today, because Godzilla was on his way back to the land, it had grown significantly at this point, before it kills the population, the prime minister issues a command, 
rescue all those in the basement. Also, get rid of Godzilla as soon as possible. They dispatch the military with advanced weaponry, they also put themselves in difficult situations. They fire at it, tossing bombs and missiles, but Godzilla remains unharmed. Now that Japan has lost its ability to manage Godzilla, the US military has intervened. They were also using airstrikes to assault Godzilla. As a result, electric malfunctions have occurred in the tunnels and cellars where the nation was once protected. The city's whole system has been harmed. The prime minister's residence was located in the same area. When the US military had no choice but to unleash airstrikes, as a result, they also depart from here. The military is now attacking Godzilla. They modify the location of military tanks. The jets has also performed several difficult operations. Shin Godzilla is being assaulted from all four directions. People began shooting at them. It is not, however, injured. After being severely harmed, Godzilla's body begins to bleed. Because of the bleeding, it feels frail. As a result, its body begins to release atomic rays. Its mouth also emits these rays. Then it starts a fire in one of the city's buildings and extinguishes it with its tongue. And then they begin to burn. It also causes damage to US military helicopters and facilities, tearing them apart. The Prime Minister's plane has also exploded. An odd thing is happening right now. Its tail appears to have a few holes in it, the tail begins to release atomic rays as well. These rays are igniting everything and separating everything. All the planes and helicopters in the sky are bombed as well. Yaguchi and the US Minister of State are now friends, and they're scared because they believe there's nothing that can stop it. What are we going to do now? They held an emergency meeting here. They propose that if Godzilla obtains atomic energy via nuclear pulse, he will be able to destroy the entire world with it. Why didn't its body freeze to the point that it couldn't use its abilities? And they all congratulate you on your decision. They are concerned, however, that a large amount of coagulant will be required as a result of this. As Shin Godzilla's size is enormous, and its supply is now limited, as a result, they plan to use a nuclear weapon to destroy him. However, the terrible repercussions may be overstated. In the process of slaying Godzilla, their whole city was devastated. It had been several years since it had exerted any effect. However, they are not authorized to do so, and they've been told to do so. All you have to do now is work on the strategy you drew up earlier. Godzilla was supposed to be frozen under this scheme. They are now creating a plan in which they will manufacture the coagulant. The US government guarantees a Japanese government official that the country will be rescued. You have till that time to do your mission. Another truth is revealed through a reporter. A guy who had gone missing from the boat was investigating this live thing or radioactive rays. Because his wife perished as a result of exposure to a radioactive beam, they were looking into it. They called the authorities after being unsuccessful. But the administration dismissed them as nuts. They vanished in an unknown location, leaving behind a tragic legacy. Their study notes are still on the sailing boat you received. After a few days, they discover, thanks to their study, that Godzilla has the ability to increase its generation if it so desires. Now, this fact alarmed the United States government. It communicates to the Japanese government that you are working slowly on your plan. We don't have much time. If you do not finish it in two days, we will use nuclear weapons to destroy it. And it makes no difference to us whether Japan is destroyed or not. All we have to do now is destroy Godzilla so that it does not gain access to us. Because the plan requires three days to carry out, the Japanese people, as well as Yaguchi, are very concerned. Other countries are aware of this and are assisting and favoring Japan as a result. As a result, this mission may be completed soon. When the deep freeze plan is ready, that day will come quickly. We'll have to activate Godzilla, they say now. Godzilla is now positioned on the side of the railway lines. They are in charge of their trains, which collide with Godzilla. Godzilla has reawakened, and it starts to move ahead of them. Godzilla is on the move, destroying automobiles, buildings, and roads. Low-energy missiles are now being fired at it, ensuring that no nearby buildings or people are harmed. Shin Godzilla begins to use his abilities at this point. It means that it employs all of its abilities in order to attack people. As if he were to spit fire and emit atomic rays from his mouth. When all of his energy is depleted, he begins to sag, and the temperature of the planet begins to drop. Now, Japan's government and people have devised a plan to blow up those structures where Godzilla stands. All of the debris will fall on Godzilla, who will be buried beneath it, and it will never be able to stand on its own again. It is now critically important that freezing gas tanks be delivered. These coagulant tankers have arrived. Godzilla's visage has emerged from the rubble. The coagulant is put into its mouth, causing the tankers to approach it. However, it has no impact on it, it then stands while the rubbish is removed. Because the coagulant may not have any action after being injected into the mouth, it begins to demolish the structure once more, spewing atomic rays from its tail, 
The trains are then redirected back in the direction of Godzilla, as they collide with Godzilla, he goes down once more, and without wasting any time, they all began injecting the coagulant into it. They've all donned masks in order to avoid being infected by the gas, they've all now aimed the gas pipes at its mouth and body, at the same moment, they discharge the coagulant into its mouth, Godzilla rises once more, but the battle is finally over, because its body temperature has dropped to the point where it is completely frozen while standing still, it is then transformed into a hard stone, it appeared to be a Godzilla dummy and